Good morning. Right before I pressed record, I dropped my phone like so hard on my face. I literally thought I broke my cheekbone. <laughs> yes, I literally drink soda stream water, sparkling water right when I wake up because I'm mentally ill. It is like 9 a.m. right now. I want to have like a really productive day. Tonight I have to go to a birthday dinner for my friend and I'm kind of excited about that. Y'all look at this hole in my shirt. This is so sad. Like this is one of my favorite shirts. Like I love the fit of it and I have a giant hole in the arm now. And it's because these washers in Japan literally tear your clothes up. If you don't put them in like a bag, it's so annoying. I hear a cat like aggressively meowing outside. Anyway, y'all I have to be be like productive and be like on my ish because I actually have time to be productive now and I'm not about to waste it sitting on TikTok on my phone. But I need to put screen time on TikTok on my phone because I don't know something there's something so like stigmatized about screen time where I don't like it. I don't know what it is. There's something weird about it where like I just can't do it. I think I need to like invest in that. My screen time is actually like oh my god it's actually so embarrassing. I sit on TikTok for so long. Like I genuinely just love sitting on TikTok talk and like doing nothing and just turning my brain off because it is like my escape from reality but i need to like be in reality and be productive and like work towards like my goals think about all the time that you spend on tiktok what you could be doing with that time otherwise say you spend like six hours a day on your phone or six hours a day on tiktok how many hours i can't do the math six times seven how many hours a week is that that you could like be working towards something and it's not like you have 24 hours in a day babe like 10 of those hours are sleeping so you have like 10 to 14 hours a day of being a human and like being alive, which is not that fucking, that sucks. I don't have school today. I don't know why I don't pay attention to like the national holidays and stuff. I just see that I don't have school and that's all I care about. So I'm chilling for today. The only problem is I have no idea what to do. <laughs> this is my problem every time I need to like go out. I've done like everything you can do in Tokyo pretty much. That is so not fucking true. I don't know what I'm talking about. Everything I can think of doing I've done before. I've been to Sensoji. I've been to Tokyo Tower. I've been to the sky tree multiple times i just realized how annoying i sound like there's obviously stuff to do in tokyo i'm just too lazy to go and fucking do it so i need to shut the fuck up also i don't want to spend like a ton of money i told myself i'm not getting starbucks because for the past like month and a half i have spent so much money on food literally all of my money goes to food i don't spend money on like anything else that's a lie i literally got like a playstation last week <laughs> guys i swear when i'm talking it just like becomes such a long video and I'm like, literally no one cares. No one cares about anything that I'm saying right now. Why am I talking about this? But also I'm just like, wait, you can literally just edit that out. But then I'm like, okay, but why am I even wasting my time talking about it if I'm not going to put it in? It's... Ah! 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 I told myself I was going to like grind this month. So I'm going to. Y'all, I hit like 700k on TikTok. That's actually insane. A month ago, I literally was just hitting 100k. I'm so confused how this happened. If I keep going with this, I'm literally going to be at a million followers soon which what like the beginning of january me couldn't even fathom the fact of having 100k what's weird is like no matter how many followers you get and no matter what amount of time nothing feels different like i still feel the exact same i did i mean not in every single way but i pretty much feel the same as i did you expect to feel something different i've kind of turned down like all the sponsorships that have like reached out to me because they haven't like i just feel like they don't go really well with like my account and i don't want to like water down my tiktok with ads i don't know i can shut up about like logistical stuff i'm really at a point in my life where i'm trying to really focus on like relaxing and not being so stressed because one thing about me i am stressed if you know me you know that like i am always stressed i constantly feel like there's like this pressure of like constantly being 
in like a grind. The grind is just, the grind was not made for me. The grind was not made for me. Let's fucking just put that out there. I am not the one to love a grind. I like being productive. It makes me feel good, but the grind creates this like extenuated period of time. Is that even the right word? Extenuated period of time. I'm constantly stressed about like the next thing that I have to do. And it's like, I'm doing social media and I'm doing school. And then I also just like have external things in my life that I have to deal with on a daily basis. Yeah, it gets stressful. I'm literally supposed to go to LA next month. And then I'm also supposed to have like some modeling job next week. After that, I can't miss any classes for school for the rest of the semester because if I do, I fail. I hate attendance. It's so annoying. I have to be so careful with what days I'm missing because I'm taking this trip to LA and I'm gonna miss four. Four! My modeling job next week, which actually isn't confirmed yet, but it kind of is. I don't know, that's a whole different thing. That's on a Friday, so that's five. I'm missing five, so I literally cannot miss one more day for the semester. If I get the flu or if I get sick, what now? I literally have to go to school. When think about me, I love talking to a camera. I used to think that I was not someone who could be like on camera. That's a bold faced lie. It makes it even better when there's people out there that actually want to listen because this is my outlet. It's honestly so therapeutic. Y'all, I applied to BetterHelp like three weeks ago. The next day they were like, we're gonna match you with a therapist that meets all your requirements. <sighs> I've not gotten an email. <laughs> they literally have not said anything to me. BetterHelp, let's get a sponsorship going or something because um, <laughs> this is my outlet. Uh, this is my dangerous outlet while I don't have a therapist. I need a therapist. Guys, I don't love journaling. I'm sorry. I've tried it so many times. It doesn't make me feel any better, really. Like, I write and then I feel like I just run out of things to write about. It's easier for me to talk out loud. I don't know. Nothing just, like, feels any different after I do it. So maybe it's just, like, not for me. But I still do it here and there. I don't... I get, Maybe it does help then. Yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. Let's see where this day takes me. That's my coffee. No, I hate being the don't talk to me until my morning coffee person. They were onto something when they came up with that because it genuinely affects my mood if I've had coffee or not. Let me stop acting like it's not just like straight addiction. I'm so addicted to coffee. I have to have it throughout like the entire day. I can't just like have my morning cup of coffee and go like, no, I have. What? What just happened? All right. But I genuinely cannot have a good day until I've actually had a cup of coffee which is like so mentally ill of me but whatever i positioned miffy to look at the camera i don't know why i did that now i feel like i can actually get ready for the day i just got the best idea for a youtube video i've ever gotten i'm really excited about it because i just like i can't say what i'm gonna do because it's probably gonna be my next video but i did what i had to do in order to do this video today's wednesday and i'm doing it on sunday so look out for my next video because that one's probably gonna be crazy i'm literally starving it's like noon and i haven't had a bite of anything so I'm gonna go. I literally don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'm hungry. Y'all don't understand how happy I am that we're getting past the point of like freezing cold weather where you literally can't walk anywhere. Now I'm just like in a jacket. Honestly, I don't even need the jacket. I feel like I talk about the weather in every single video that I make. Ryan, you need to shut up. No one cares. Yeah, I actually decided that I'm gonna go to a cafe in my neighborhood that I really like, but I'll see you when I get there. It's really close. <laughs> Wait, the way I just came across this store, I like completely forgot about this place. It is just like this pink store with like all this random stuff in the window. It's never been open, y'all. I've lived here for like seven months and this place has not been open once. I don't even know what they sell. It's just there. We have arrived. Cafe Colorado. Hi. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this, which is brown sugar ice latte or ice cafe au lait and then cinnamon toast it's really good for some reason since i don't have school today i feel so like free i feel like i'm on like summer break or something but literally i go back to school tomorrow what's that about look at this y'all 
cinnamon. It's got banana, walnuts, whipped cream. It's cafe au lait. I'm so excited. <laughs> That was too good. Let's get that bill. Since it's literally right here, I'm gonna go to the dollar store. I'm going to the dollar store. It's called Sedia. I literally love this place. They have so much stuff and everything is actually 100 yen. My phone almost just got crushed by the escalator. We out here. Well, that was a bust. I'm leaving right now because I literally couldn't find anything worth purchasing. And I'm normally somebody who like always wants to spend money on like the stupidest stuff. But for some reason today I was like, I literally don't need any of this. Wait, I stopped in the department store. I'm getting this cause y'all, I'm cleaning up way too much hair from my cat every single day by sweeping and I'm tired of it. Guys, it's about time I invest in something like this. I've been needing a mini vacuum for so long because I clean up so much cat hair. But now, now I don't have to. Hey, okay. You know you're adulting when you get excited about a vacuum cleaner. Shut the fuck up. So I've just been sitting here editing and I just found out that I got confirmed for my modeling job next Friday. So I'm actually kind of excited about that because I'm going to make a video and I get to go to Shizuoka, which is a different prefecture in Japan. Also realized I just talked for so long in the beginning of the video. So let me know if you like when I just like rant about random stuff or if it was boring. I'm also really excited because I just got Final Cut Pro. So I'm like upgrading my editing no more iMovie I hate iMovie it's actually I literally hate iMovie so much it's so annoying there's so many things that you can't do on iMovie and they do that on purpose because you can do it on Final Cut Pro and obviously both of them are made by Apple and they want you to buy Final Cut Pro here I am with Final Cut Pro now I'm gonna go to dinner somewhat soon and I need to figure out what I'm gonna wear I might wear the same thing I wore earlier I don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see but I'll update you I literally had to rush out the door because I ran out of time because I got so distracted editing. Now I'm running and it's giving same outfit as earlier vibes. I know it's dark. Yeah, I'm on my way to the train. You guys, oh my God, I'm actually so dumb. I went out for my friend's birthday and I completely, somehow just completely forgot that I was making a YouTube video. Did not film any of it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I got home and when I was on the train back, you guys, oh my God, I felt so so ill it's not even funny i don't know what it was like i low-key had a panic attack i think i ate too much i had like a very heavy pasta for dinner it was really good now i'm like so tired it's 11 30 at night and i think i'm just gonna sit on my laptop and like edit the rest of this video sorry it's not like some cute ending or anything but i just like completely forgot but whatever on that note i'll see you in the next one goodbye